Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about something fun, track shifters. So stay tuned. Here's the track gang at the Copper King Mine. Unfortunately, we don't have a track shifter here. And that's what we're going to talk about today is a track shifter. Maybe I'll try to scratch build one. I don't think you could buy one though. They were an important part of mining at Bingham Canyon because the rail was always on the move. They would clamp onto the rail and then lift it up and they'd move a large section over to the level. By the time I worked in the pit on these line jobs, the shifter would just be lifting the rail out of the overspill material. Then a cable on the back of the dozer would pull the rail over. So let's go to Bingham Canyon and look at this track shifter. We have a few pictures of this and it's kind of fun to look at them. Here's a few close-ups of the tracking at the Copper King mine. We do have a dozer here so that helps out and we have a jitney down the way. Track shifter. Today we're going to talk about track shifters. Just saying the name brings back fond memories and puts a grin on my face. A track shifter would clamp onto the rails, then a geared spud would come down between the middle of the shifter, hopefully between the ties, and lift a section of the railroad up, and then actually move it or shift it over. So look at some of these pictures of this track shifter. Now I found a little bit of history on the machine. This is a 1930 pamphlet about the Nornberg company and their track shifter. It says that one man, one machine could replace a gang of 20. So that was interesting. Look at some of these pictures of this pamphlet. And this is how they used to move shifter rail over. You can see it did take a lot of guys with all these bars. And this picture was taken up in Bingham. I only have a few pictures of this machine, so let's show you those and talk about this interesting machine up to Bingham. The shifter operators, they had nerves of steel, I'll tell you. They would come flying down the steep grades of the mine. And all they had was a hand throttle and a two-way clutch and a hand brake. And they had, all they was just standing next to this uh, railing that went around it a little bit. Look at this picture of this guy coming down this right here gives you an idea what it was like and here's some pictures of the shifter at work it's kind of neat how they could just uh shift that rail over they would just usually pull a guy off a gang to help throw clamps and so the the guy on the right there he's probably off a track gang and probably had high seniority to do that job is to throw clamps for the shifter operator Running track shifters was an entry-level job to get into the dozer department. And that was a good department to get into. Here's some pictures of the dozers that work at the mine. The, the operators also had to know how to use a acetylene torch. All the track shifters was equipped with those. I remember times when our whole gang, around 12 men, would get up on these shifters and ride to a job site or a wreck or something. Now there wasn't much room for that many people to be standing on here. And then we'd be standing on our tools because we had to carry our tools, the spike molds and claw bars and gauges and different things to that job site. Holding on the best we could and sometimes on a cold winter day, I smile at all the complaining that was going on. And that's just saying it nicely. So look at some of these pictures of this track gang and these shifters right here I think there's three right here track shifters are all lined up and this gang is actually packing some rail around and here's some pictures of them on a line job down in the pit and you can see how wet and muddy and they worked in all kinds of weather but there's some track shifters right there on the rail what's broke apart right there so a line job was when a shovel made a pass loading train cars the track had to be picked up and moved closer to the level. So this terrace railroad was always on the move. 
A section of the rare wood would be broke apart at both ends, and then the shifter, usually done in tandem, would just clamp on and then they just kind of ease that rail over next to the mountainside. So here's some pictures of him working in the pit with these track shifters. Some great pictures of this. Out on the dump, the job was called shaking out, and the track shifter would just clamp on and then just lift up the rail, and the track gang would just shovel in the material where the ties were. And then sometimes they actually had to move it out closer to the dump. You can see these pictures are right here. This is out in the dumps. I actually worked out in the dump in the summer of 1969. So this picture right here was taken in 1970 out in the dumps. And I actually recognize some of those people out on that job out there and the shifter operator. But here's some more pictures of them working out on the dumps. It's a waste train coming in here and dumping. It's got this track shifter pushed right to the end of the dump. That's interesting. Here's another picture of the dump looking over the valley. And this was taken in June 1970. Here's our shack we used to stay in, eat our lunch, and get out of the bad weather when they had it. And it looks pretty rough, but we liked it. It was home to, to us, for sure. And then I'll just leave with this picture again of this 1970 picture of out on the dumps and just gives you an idea of the hard work and out in the sun all day and life on the track game out in the dumps. So that's the track shifter at Bingham Canyon Mine.